Hello, I'm Manu, I'm 57 years and I want to show you my daily routine into my makeup. First of all, I've had my day cream on my face already done and now I'm going to start with a colored day cream which makes my skin more equal looking, the spots disappear a bit and uh, it, this has a kind of a glow. Just with the fingers. I finished my day cream, my color day cream, and I always have a little bit left on my hands. It's covering my age spots on my hands, so now my hands are also more clean looking. Next step is uh, covering my age spots in my face. I have this small palette and a little brush. You still want the skin to be skin. They don't need to disappear totally. and a little, little bit lighter color underneath the eyebrows. It makes the line of your eyebrows a little bit more in shape. You can also make it some lighter here. brings your eyes a little bit more out. The next step, the concealer. The same brush and my concealer. The concealer is a little bit more greasy and I put it under the eyes. Work it out with my fingertip, really softly. The skin over there is so sensitive, you always have to be really soft and careful with that. Well, the next step is the eyebrows. I always go from the upper part of the face downwards. I have a, a kind of a pencil, which my preference is to make little lines in the eyebrow. You better Lift it a bit, so only on the upper part. I always say your face is like an aquarelle. It's thin layers instead of one hard line. I'm going to curl my lashes now. Looking to your nose makes the outer lashes stand out a bit more. And then the mascara. I always take the black one. The one you choose is really personal. When you get older, your eyelashes become more thin. So I prefer one which is really black and a little bit thick.
to lift my eye, I never do the mascara underneath, only above. To make my eyes a little more uh, sparkling and expressive, I also put a little bit of a black eyeliner, but only on the third, one third part, outer part of the eye. If you uh, made a mistake, those really small Q-tips are perfect to fix it. The last tip is to, with this box, make in your eye corners a little bit light. To lift your eye. You don't need a facelift, you just need to do your makeup in the right way. Because the greasy part underneath is a little bit shiny, I use just a tiny bit of powder underneath the eyes. So the eyes are ready, so I'm going to put some sun glow over it with a bronzing powder and even a little bit bigger brush. This is all really subtle. And of course, on the chin. And when I think, wow, I want to look even more fresh, a little bit of rouge, just a very tiny, tiny bit. Especially in winter time or when you don't feel really happy, gives a little bit of a glow. To finish the lips, I prefer myself to have a lip gloss and just a tiny little bit. Okay, now the hair. This is the hair I sleep with. I have some pins in it and an elastic. I wash my hair once a week. And now I have volume in it. Okay, it's a little bit too much. So I brush it. And uh, when, I, when it's really dry at night, before I wrap it up, I put a little bit of argan oil in the points. So uh, it's also good for the hair and makes it uh, less fluffy. Well, this is my daily routine. Thank you, Manu. <laughs>